What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today is May 30th, 2019 and we just saw the first official reveal trailer for the game. So as we all expected from a few days ago, it looks like we're not getting Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. Instead, we're getting a sort of reimagining of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare series. And as the leaks from a few days ago suggested, and what I mentioned in my previous video, it looks like we're going to be seeing kind of a lot of the same characters from the previous Modern Warfare trilogy come back for this new reimagining of the story, which is really interesting for a couple of different reasons. I think one of the first things is that modern, like the term modern warfare, right? Meaning warfare in this day and age, in the modern era after, you know, post world war ii this is post you know cold war and everything like that this is the modern warfare and warfare over the last you know 15 years since we first saw call of duty 4 um it's changed a lot so modern warfare from cod 4 is a totally different meaning from modern warfare in 2019 i mean a lot has happened since then so the actual term modern warfare means something different today than it did in in the past when we first saw saw cod 4 and i think one of the ways that that is is much different now than it was back in the day is all of these terror terrorist threats and bombings and mass shootings that we've been seeing um a lot here in America I'm sure maybe in other countries as well but it seems like these mass shootings and these acts of terror are you know relatively common unfortunately every couple of months we see something new that's happening somewhere in the world if it's not here it's in Paris or London or whatever the case is um, and it looks like from this trailer that a lot of these big events are going to be kind of the the cornerstone of the campaign and kind of talking about how you know modern warfare there's not like a clear-cut bad guy and a lot of times this this terrorism the, the terrorism that gets um fought against happens in maybe an urban city that you know you would think when we when we talk about modern warfare you think you're like oh like um you know iraq iran afghanistan things like that um but you know in reality a lot of times fighting this modern war like this a lot of these fronts might actually be in major cities around the world and i think that's going to give us a totally different and again a reimagining of what modern warfare actually means especially in this day and age and how it's going to contrast from what modern warfare looked like 10 15 years ago now of course all we got was a bit of information about the campaign of the game and yes we will be getting a campaign with this new upcoming call of duty which is awesome because we didn't get it with black ops 4 and not that i really care about campaign but if there's a campaign that i'm interested in it's a modern warfare campaign i think the last call of duty campaign that i played was modern warfare 3 back in the day I might have played a bit of Black Ops 2, I don't remember, um, which just goes to show that it wasn't a, that big of a deal to me, but regardless, uh, the campaign is something that I'm really, really excited about, and the reason for that is because I watched uh, Drifter's video talking about the three missions that they got to play a majority of when Drifter and other content creators were flown out to play this game. I believe at Infinity Ward or at Activision, regardless, it doesn't matter. They got to play um, a majority of, of the, I believe, the first three missions, uh, and he kind of gave us a play-by-play -play for every single mission and everything that he saw, um, and he did a really good job, honestly, explaining um, kind of what they got to see, even though he wasn't able to post gameplay. And the reason that I'm so excited for this campaign is because it it's a lot of these blockbuster games a lot of these triple a titles will release a campaign with very uh predictable tropes and very predictable storylines um especially where you know you're the hero and it's pretty obvious who the bad guy is and you're kind of just killing the bad guy like that's the guy you shoot the guy that looks like a terrorist and like 
that you know i've played enough shooting games in my life to where i haven't needed to play a first person campaign in like a really long time over five plus years i haven't because it doesn't matter i don't need to play a world war ii campaign i've played enough of them to get the gist of the idea and that's not to say that any modern world war ii campaigns aren't good but you know it's kind of the same thing right and what i'm noticing with this campaign and, and basing it off of what drifter said because again i i obviously haven't seen the campaign yet all i've seen is this trailer um, but going off of what he said this campaign seems to attempt at showing modern warfare uh in a very realistic light which is something that game studios tend to not do right because War is, you can't really think of something worse than war. I, I, I mean, it is such a complex and, and chaotic scenario that a vast majority of modern first world civilians just have no concept of. Like, most people have never been to war if you live in a first world country, um, and, or you just haven't enlisted, or you don't know right and i'm sure in other countries this is different especially countries that are constantly in in some sort of conflict um but most people in the developed world have no idea what it's like to to be in war and all you can do is read books and maybe watch some live leaks of certain things and you know of course that would give you some sort of general consensus but you never get that from a video game right you never get that from a video game because any time that you play a shooting game first person third person you know even a military um a, a simulation game like arma you don't really get the sense of of actual like trauma that happens during war like in these games for example when you shoot somebody they die right but that does not happen in real life like the only time that somebody dies immediately when they get shot is if they like have a 50 cal just blow their brain like just blow their head off like that's the only time that people pretty much die immediately right uh, other than that if you shoot somebody with a few submachine gun bullets they're not gonna die immediately they're gonna scream and they're gonna fall down and they're gonna bleed out and they're gonna keep trying to shoot you because they you know are still alive and all they know is that hey i just got shot let me at least try and get that guy you know so <laughs> It seems to me like they're actually taking the risky and controversial approach of actually showing the parts of war that are essentially taboo and for good reason, right? Like, it, you can't have fun uh, during war, really, right? Like, it's terrifying, right? It's a terrifying thing. People don't like being in combat, right? Actually in an active combat zone is is high anxiety high stress it it, it, it you know it, it's unimaginable right I, I i can't speak from experience i have no experience but just from what i can tell it's hard to imagine something worse than human warfare especially in the modern world and i think that we actually are going to have a campaign that's worth playing which is great because again i haven't played a campaign for call of duty in very very long and i'm actually excited for this campaign even if the multiplayer isn't good which let's pray that it is because that will make or break this game um but i'm still going to pick the game up and i'm still going to play the campaign and hopefully you know if the multiplayer is trash hopefully i can at least play the campaign feel like i got my money's worth and, and, and experienced a good story in a modern setting. Another thing that I want to talk about, and again, like I said, we only have this campaign footage. We don't have any multiplayer or zombies or spec ops or anything like that. We don't know most, most anything about the game. We don't really know anything, right? But another pro from what I took away from this is that we're finally going back to a modern first person shooter like my god it has taken us so long we haven't seen this since ghosts which is what 2013 was that when ghost came out yeah november of 2013 was the last time that we saw a modern call of duty shooting game which is crazy to me because we have seen exo movement with you know advanced warfare we saw 
the Black Ops 3 and 4 with their movement and futuristic stuff. We saw Infinite Warfare, God forbid we even talk about that game, and then we saw the revisiting of modern, uh, I'm sorry, World War II with Call of Duty World War II. Uh, but this entire time, right, we've been pretty much asking for a modern shooter. I'd say, you know, we saw Ghosts and then we kind of started to go into the future and by the time black ops 3 came around everybody was like okay we want to see something modern and some people were like hey you know it'd be cool if we went back to world war 2 and we got that which was nice right world war 2 is still better than futuristic you know bunny jumping everywhere um but it still didn't satiate our desire for modern warfare which is what we're finally getting we're finally getting modern warfare and that's absolutely incredible um another awesome thing that we saw was captain price we saw captain price come back he was a prominent figure in the uh, trailer and also from what drifter said he's a prominent figure in a lot of the campaign missions right at the beginning of the game and one thing that i picked out of the trailer at the very end before they show you know the modern warfare october 25th release day thing right before that it just shows the screen cuts to black and there's that blue line that goes across the screen and you can hear all people speaking and in the background you can hear somebody say who's your team and then you can hear what presumably is captain price say some old comrades so who knows we could be seeing soap and ghost come back for this new reimagining of the modern warfare series which would be absolutely incredible right we would see a familiar faces in a brand new story that takes the series that we knew and love and brings it to today's modern warfare and it takes that story and instead of taking the traditional hero's journey killing bad guys now we're taking a step below to the underbelly of war and we're taking a look at some of the tragedies and some of the most tragic and 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 chaotic and malevolent uh, uh aspects of actual warfare and we're, we're getting to see that side of it as opposed to you know just a cleanly written storyline with clear bad guys and good guys i'm super excited about this campaign now i also want to talk about some of the bad things right because not everybody is as happy about this and i would say based on what i posted on instagram if you guys don't follow me follow me on instagram at x um based on what i posted on instagram I would say that a majority of people are excited for this game there are two big things that i saw in terms of backlash from a lot of people um one of them is that uh they are out of ideas for call of duty right that we've already seen modern warfare they literally named it the same thing as cod 4 right so they're taking the same essentially a lot of the same characters and a, a similar story and reimagining it so they must be out of ideas right but honestly at this point right no matter what they do they're pretty much out of ideas because they've beaten future warfare to death we've already seen a return to world war ii so how upset would you be with that and if we're gonna do modern warfare like wouldn't you rather them reimagine a good series than put out a shitty sequel like ghosts 2 like I would much rather see a reimagining of a good series and, and, and actually see it through and, and see how they can adapt it to today's gaming industry, right? The other thing is, um, and I guess there's really three back pieces of backlash. Uh, another one was that this doesn't deserve a reboot, right? And this kind of ties in with the first idea. A lot of, some people were saying that Call of Duty Modern Warfare doesn't deserve a reboot because they're not really going to change anything, right? So essentially this argument is saying like, yeah, the campaign will be different, but the actual gameplay and the way that multiplayer is going to go, like a lot of it's going to be pretty much the same, right? If we know anything about Call of Duty, it's that they like to stick to a certain formula. And some people are saying like, why, you know, the only reason that they could possibly be rebooting this is because they're out of ideas, because the original trilogy was great as it was and it doesn't need a reboot and it, it doesn't need you know it doesn't deserve one because it, it there's no point in rebooting it anyway if they're not really going to change what the game is other than just to slap a new campaign on it and release the rest of it as call of duty as it is and 
I guess that that is a valid argument, right? Like the original trilogy was incredible. And if they were to just remaster COD uh, Modern Warfare 2 and 3 and slap it all in a bundle with the original remastered Modern Warfare, like that might be that might be just as good or better like we, we wouldn't know because they're not doing it so of course that could be a, a valid claim however we did see god of war get a reboot right god of war got a reboot and it turned out amazing right like the god of war trilogy or series in general is a highly respected series the original series of god of war highly respected and yet we saw playstation take that uh that franchise and reboot it and it was incredible it was a, an outstanding game one of the best games of the year no doubt and it worked out in that favor so even though like i guess you know god of war does deserve a reboot maybe call of duty doesn't because they release a call of duty every year whereas god of war is a different story but regardless that's up for you guys to decide does call of duty you know like are they just kind of digging up this grave for money that could be the case um and finally the biggest thing that i think i saw was uh, people are concerned about microtransactions everywhere you go people are saying hey look this is a great concept but i'm sure that they're going to ruin it with microtraction microtransactions and i don't blame anybody for thinking that and truthfully they are might be right you know they might be right it sounds from what i've seen that we have confirmed that there will not be a season's pass for this game at least not in the same vein that maybe it was released for black ops 4 where you kind of have to just buy the whole thing for the dlc um so who knows like hopefully they will try some pro consumer monetization strategies for call of duty modern warfare i would hate to see this game just tank because of another year of predatory monetization strategies it's really not hard at this point in 2019 to pick a modern monetization strategy that doesn't aggressively ruin the consumer's wallet. It's not hard, right? There are things that you can do to implement into the game that players will be willing to spend extra money on. It just has to be worth it for them, which means that you might have to put a little work into it as a developer. So that's a valid concern. I know that people are, are concerned that we might see tons of microtransactions, but who knows? We do have a bill that is trying to be passed right now in the United States that would prevent uh, loot boxes from being in games targeted at kids. This might not fall in that category because it will be rated M, if not A, based on what Drifter uh, talked about. I don't think they would release it if it was rated A, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was banned in other countries, that's for sure. Regardless, this video is longer than I intended it to be, so I'm going to cut it here, but I just wanted to bring you guys my first thoughts and opinions. Um, I'm excited, right? I wasn't this excited for Black Ops 4. I wasn't this excited for Infinite Warfare, um, you know, so who knows? At this point, I'm just excited that there's going to be a good campaign, and if the multiplayer sucks like it usually does, then I'll play the multiplayer for a little bit, but at least I'll get a good campaign out of it. At least that's how it seems at this point. And, you know, that's more than I've gotten from Black Ops 4, so I'll take it at this point. Like, I really just wasted my money with that game. So, yeah, regardless, I'm excited for Modern Warfare. I would love to hear what you guys think about the game in the comments section below. Are you excited for it? Are you worried about microtransactions? Um, did you even play the original trilogy back in the day? Like, is this your first time meeting uh, all of all these characters? Like, this might be exciting for the new generation of Call of Duty fans. And... Finally, I just want to let you guys know that I do want to make a video talking about Optic Gaming. I don't know. This is like, I watched the podcast with Hitch today and it's been really sitting on my brain. A lot of the stuff that's going on there and it's heartbreaking. So I want to make a video about that. So that's probably what I'm going to be talking about next. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a thumbs up on the video. It does help my channel a ton. Subscribe if you're new around here and want to see more videos from me. If you really want to see more videos, turn on that bell. Click that bell button so you're notified every time I upload. And I know who turns these on because I see you guys commenting. First comments. I see you guys. Shout out to you. You are some of the realest MVPs. Uh, I really do appreciate you. And that's about it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. This has been on America. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Peace.